okay so i think now we can start our uh, lecture of theory of machine am i audible to you can you hear me i am very sure you people are preparing nicely for your uh, hindustan aeronautical limited exam also yeah good afternoon everyone so what i will do is i will cover uh, this uh, some good questions of uh, theory of machine which are expected in exams like uh, hl so uh, you know uh, these exams of public sector are little different from gate exam the kind of questions which are asked uh, simple questions hote hain lekin ticklish bhi hote hain so we need to cover those questions ye sara this entire ppt which i am going to uh, discuss with you you will get it uh, on the panel so you need not to worry about that yahan pe understand karo just try to understand the concept and today i'll be taking some 40 50 questions in first lecture and i'll be covering theory of machine through uh, these uh, more lectures so let's go with one more question and let's try to understand this so uh, today's lecture is about the uh, today's lecture is about the you know uh, mechanisms links uh, kind of uh, topics so motion of square bar in a square hole is example of what so as you know there are constrained motions there are couple of type of constrained motions all of you know Different different type of constrained motions are there. Abi, uh, what is the meaning of constrained motion? Let me explain that to you. So, see in this particular diagram, we have got you know, three different kind of motions depending upon the two links. Now, can you see this diagram? This is called prismatic pair. It is called prismatic pair. Now, there are two links in this. One is a square hole in one of the links, green color, and then you know this reddish color. This is brownish color. that is the another link so there are two links in contact and this basically uh, connection is called prismatic pairing so this particular link can only move in one particular direction but this is not this is basically not free to move in other direction this cannot rotate if you see this cannot rotate inside this is not a square hole it is a uh, this is not a circular hole this is a square hole so this is completely constrained motion that means only one direction motion is provided to us when i go to this instead of this uh, prismatic pair or square hole suppose i give you a cylinder inside a circular hole cylinder inside a circular hole so let us say there is a cylinder and that is inside the circular hole it can rotate also now you can make it rotate also this cannot rotate but this can rotate this can translate also this can rotate also this can only translate completely constrained in completely constrained then there is a third type of constrained motion that is which is successfully constrained or partially constrained this is called successfully constrained or partially constrained so what is the meaning of that is you have put some kind of collar here you have put some kind of collar which restrict one of the motions this collar will restrict one of the motions maybe it cannot translate now it can rotate but it cannot translate because you have put it now successfully you have constrained it and you have put the collar so how many type of constrained motions are there we have completely constrained motion of one link we have incompletely constrained motion that means uh, it can have more degrees of freedom and third is we are having uh, actually successfully constrained that simply means we cannot make, basically we cannot now enjoy the degree of freedom which was there here because we have added some extra mechanism or extra feature we have added that is called successfully constrained so there are these three kind of constrained motion as we know so this is the first question from where you should be very very clear and in the exam in the exam normally he ask you about this normally ask you the piston cylinder mechanism i internal combustion engine or piston cylinder mechanism is example of which kind of constrained motion piston cylinder mechanism kaun si type ke constrained motion ka example hai so we will say this cylinder you know cylinder is inside the piston do you think cylinder can rotate inside the piston cylinder cannot rotate inside the piston and that is the reason this cylinder no doubt this is a circular body inside the circular hole if i give you a circular body inside a circular hole let me make a diagram here let me make a diagram in this particular case so i give you a circular body and the piston is also circular body right so let me give you three dimensional view of that 
So this piston is also three-dimensional body and cylinder is also three-dimensional body. But this piston, this piston cannot actually rotate inside the cylinder. This piston can only translate. Why? Because, you know, this pin, which is called gajan pin, maybe because of this pin and maybe because of these rings, which we have piston rings, because of these piston rings, this is actually successfully constrained motion. So the piston cylinder mechanism is example of constrained, successfully constrained motion. It is not incompletely constrained or completely constrained. It is the, it is basically the successfully constrained motion. Similarly, if you see the footstep bearings, that is also example of successfully constrained motion. So you should be very, very clear, which is completely constrained, incompletely constrained and successfully constrained motion. So this particular part is the successfully constrained motion. And if we ask you how it is successfully constrained motion, answer is this gajan pin. This is called gajan pin. It is not going to let it rotate because of the gajan pin. It cannot rotate. It can only translate. That is the meaning of it. Let's go for the next question now. Which of the following is an inversion of single slider crank chain? So we know that uh, inversion of slider crank mechanisms and I'm expecting that you will keep on giving your answers also. Which of the following is an inversion of single slider crank mechanism? Single slider crank chain. Yes, so hand pump is the example of that. Elliptical trammel, scotch yoke and Oldham couplings are not the single slider crank mechanism hand pump is the basically example of that so let me give you the names of the inversions which are produced by single slider crank chain you know slider crank mechanism so we will be discussing here couple of uh, uh, mechanisms one is four bar mechanism you know four bar mechanisms where you have one two three four when then we will have slider crank mechanism one pair is sliding pair and other are you know so one two three four this is the slider crank mechanism four bar mechanism slider crank mechanism and double slider mechanism so double slider mechanism is the third mechanism so how many inversions are there so single slider crank mechanism this is the crank this is the slider this is the connecting rod so how many inversions are there reciprocating engine mechanism if first inversion oscillating cylinder second inversion crank and slotted lever <coughs> that is also second inversion Whitworth quick return mechanism third inversion and uh, rotary engine third inversion and this name also you please remember now hand pump is fourth inversion and there's another fourth inversion that is bull engine mechanism that is bull engine mechanism so this can also be asked in question so keep noting this down this is the bull engine mechanism so these are all the inversions of single slider crank mechanism so keep fixing one of the links or aapke paas alag alag inversion aayega so agar aap link number 1 ko fix karenge to aapke paas reciprocating engine which we call internal combustion engine, that mechanism you will get it. Agar do ko fix karenge, oscillating cylinder and crank and slotted lever mechanism. Crank and slotted lever mechanism and Whitworth quick return mechanisms give you a you know, quick return ratio. So that is used in shaper and all. Is mein bas aapne bull engine mechanism ko add karna hai. This is the new addition for you. And this is the diagram which all of you are aware how we get this diagram. So you people are aware about these details. So slider crank mechanism, kaise milta hai humar paas? So quick return mechanism, Whitworth quick return mechanism, crank and slotted lever mechanism, crank and slotted lever mechanism, Whitworth quick return mechanism. So you people are already knowing about this. Let me show you the hand pump also. This is rotary cylinder and this is the hand pump mechanism. Right? So uh, verbatim inversion, का नाम भी नोट कर लो वो हैंड पंप मैकेनिज्म के साथ रिलेटेड एक मैकेनिज्म है सो आल्सो यू कैन नोट वर्बेटिम इनवर्शन वर्बेटिम इनवर्शन एंड हैंड पंप मैकेनिज्म इज द मॉडिफाइड वर्जन ऑफ वर्बेटिम इनवर्शन सो हैंड पंप जो आपका इनवर्शन है दैट इज द 
modified version of uh, verbatim inversion note down that name also that also you should be aware right so this is how you will uh, use the hand pump uh, mechanism so fourth link if i fix i get hand pump inversion these are inversions of the double slider mechanism jo maine aapko bataya tha double slider mein these are the inversions we'll get so inversion of double slider crank mechanisms are oldham coupling elliptical trammel and scotch yoke mechanism scotch yoke mechanism so oldham coupling elliptical trammel and uh, you know uh, this uh, scotch yoke mechanism to aapke paas do slider hai there are two sliding pairs and there are two turning pairs so you get this particular thing on the basis of uh, our yeah so these are double slider crank mechanisms okay so let's go for next question of grubler criteria grubler criteria is applicable for mechanisms with with how many degrees of freedom grubler criteria is very very important criteria tell me with what degrees of freedom do you use grubler criteria grubler criteria is used with how many degrees of freedom just check it out <clears throat> so how many degrees of freedom so i'm expecting answer from your side grubler criteria is used with how many degrees of freedom okay so let me give you what is the degrees of freedom in a special mechanism dekho mechanisms are of two type one mechanism is called as planar mechanism two dimensional mechanism but then there is a three dimensional mechanism also mechanism which can be in three dimensional degrees of freedom can be calculated by this general formula this is the general formula to calculate the degree of freedom in the mechanism which is special mechanism do tarah ka mechanism aap logon ke paas hota hai ek special mechanism and then planar mechanism special mechanism is 3d mechanism and 2d mechanism 2d mechanism is basically planar mechanism planar mechanism so grubler criteria grubler criteria is for plane mechanism two dimensional mechanism so what is the degree of freedom formula for us degree of freedom for us in special mechanism is this degree of freedom we can call it mobility also degree of freedom ko mobility is also called l is the number of links j1 is number of one degree of freedom joints j2 is two degrees of freedom joint j3 is three degrees of freedom joint j4 is fourth degree of freedom joint j5 is five degree of freedom joints so we have got these different degrees of freedom joints and this is the general formula of degree of freedom of three dimensional mechanism so this is called catchback mobility criteria for three dimensional mechanism so this is a general formula now this general formula for planar mechanism this general formula for planar mechanism can become mobility is equal to 3 l minus 1 minus 2 j1 minus 2 j1 minus j2 this is the formula for 2d mechanism so catchback mobility criteria for three dimensional mechanism is this and for two dimensional mechanism is this note down this equations these are the criteria this is basically mobility or degree of freedom criteria three dimensional mechanism this is the degree of freedom or mobility formula two dimensional or planar mechanism degree of freedom or mobility formula is this one what is the relation 6 into number of links minus 1 minus 5 sometime it is called p1 p2 p3 sometime it is written j1 j2 j3 that is the number of joints or pair joint or pair this is more commonly used formula ab grubler criteria is for degree of freedom 1 or mobility 1 so if i put mobility one here if i put mobility one here this is the value which i get 
mobility is one and i am not having the you know pairs with more degree of freedom two degree of freedom so number of two degree of freedom joints will also be zero so this is the formula which i am going to get so one is equal to three into l minus one minus two times j that is the equation which i am going to get should i open it up 3l minus 3 minus 2j is equal to 1 so what comes out to be 3l minus 2j is equal to 4 something like this so you can manipulate it you can write anyway so 2j is equal to 3l minus 4 2j or j is equal to 3l minus 4 by 2 this formula please remember sometime it is asked in the exam Sometimes this formula is directly asked in the exam. So loops, concept oriented degree of freedom, I will just do it for you. I will cover it. You keep doing the questions. Keep solving these questions. Keep understanding these questions. I will cover those topics also. First, you understand what I have done. You have two types of mechanisms. Three-dimensional mechanism, which is called special mechanism. टू डायमेंशनल मैकेनिज्म जिनको प्लेनर मैकेनिज्म बोलते हैं थ्री डायमेंशनल मैकेनिज्म टू डायमेंशनल मैकेनिज्म नो यू हैव टू इक्वेशंस वन इज कचबैक मोबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया टू कैलकुलेट डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम वी हैव कचबैक मोबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया कचबैक डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इक्वेशन दिस इज अ जनरल इक्वेशन एंड फॉर यू नो प्लेनर मैकेनिज्म दिस इज द स्पेसिफिक इक्वेशन नो कम टू गुलबलर क्राइटेरिया ऑफ प्लेन मैकेनिज्म Plane mechanism is the mechanism. Any mechanism has single degree of freedom. Any mechanism has single degree of freedom. Now, plane mechanism is two-dimensional mechanism. In that case, our this J1, the only J1 will be left. Even J2, higher order pair, if it is not considered, higher order pair are not considered, that will also be zero. And by solving then that equation, degree of freedom is one. If I put it one this side, M is one, then there's a relation between number of pairs and number of links and those links and those pairs are lower order pairs lower order pairs and higher order pair you already know area contact is lower order pair whereas point contact is higher order pair so we get equation between number of pairs and number of links this equation is very important for your exam so remember this equation this is very very important for exam so now uh, just uh, uh, use this particular formula for uh, your uh, four bar mechanism let's see whether we get this equation so j is equal to 3l minus 4 by 2 if i give you four bar mechanism if i give you four bar mechanism how many pairs and how many links you have one two three four so l is equal to four j is also equal to four for single degree of freedom are we getting this equation or not so j is 4 just put l is equal to 4 12 minus 8 12 minus 4 is 8 8 by 2 so for 4 bar mechanism this is satisfied 4 bar mechanism it is satisfied agar main aapko 5 de dun if i give you 5 links it may not be satisfied degree of freedom may not come here so if i give you 5 and 5 put 5 here put 5 here 15 minus 4 that is 11 by 2 is not coming out to be 5 so it will not be satisfied only four bar mechanism may it is satisfied so for now uh, slider crank mechanism because slider crank mechanism is a different mechanism so in that particular mechanism the pairing is different so in that case it may not be uh, it may be a uh, different thing but otherwise it is not satisfied for five 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 pairs now this is what we were discussing globular criteria is there when higher pair are assumed to zero in kutchback criteria the equation is basically globular criteria is obtained like this and mechanism may if degree of freedom is one then you can find the relation between uh, degree of find the relation between number of links and number of pairs you can find that particular relation <coughs> planar mechanism may maximum degree of freedom possible is three two translation and one rotation so what we understand is maximum degrees of freedom in the space is a six three rotation and three translation three rotation three translation but when, when we talk about two dimension so hamare paas two dimension mein maximum degree of freedom teen hoti hai 
टू बेसिकली ट्रांसलेशन एंड वन रोटेशन तो ये हमारे पास मैक्सिमम डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम है वहीं से ये इक्वेशन हमारे पास आया सो आई थिंक दिस इज क्लियर विद यू नाउ वट इज द मोबिलिटी ऑफ दिस मैकेनिज्म वी जस्ट डिस्कस द मोबिलिटी और डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम फॉर दिस मैकेनिज्म वो ग्लोबलर क्राइटेरिया से आप इसकी इक्वेशन निकाल सकते हैं सो डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इज नाउ इक्वल टू हाउ मच दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मोबिलिटी हमने टू डायमेंशनल पेयर है ये तो डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इज नथिंग बट थ्री टाइम्स एन माइनस वन माइनस टू जे वन माइनस टू जे टू और टू टाइम्स पी वन माइनस टू टाइम्स सॉरी माइनस पी टू नाउ इन दिस मैकेनिज्म ऑल पेयर आर टर्निंग पेयर टर्निंग पेयर में आर लोअर ऑर्डर पेयर वट इज लोअर ऑर्डर पेयर आई विल डिस्कस दैट विद यू सो ऑल दीज पेयर आर टर्निंग पेयर right so this all are lower order pairs so how many pairs are there p r 3 higher order pair is not there what is higher order pair higher order pair is a point contact ball bearing spherical pair or in that case cam and follower that is a higher order pair so higher order pair is also not there so what we get is degree of freedom is equal to 3 times kitne number of links hain four links hain so 4 minus 1 minus 2 into 3 so how much we are getting here is 4 minus 1 into 3 minus 2 into sorry 4 there sorry four pair so that we get is 1 so this is the four bar mechanism and in four bar mechanism degree of freedom is equal to 1 which of the following is approximately straight line motion mechanism straight line motion mechanism कौन सा मैकेनिज्म स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन मैकेनिज्म है विच मैकेनिज्म इज स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन मैकेनिज्म रिमेंबर दीज डायरेक्टली एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन कम्स फॉर सो दैट मीन्स यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सम मैकेनिज्म वाट्स मैकेनिज्म रॉबर्ट्स मैकेनिज्म ग्रास हॉपर मैकेनिज्म यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सर्टन मैकेनिज्म वाट्स मैकेनिज्म रॉबर्ट्स मैकेनिज्म एंड ग्रास हॉपर मैकेनिज्म ऑल ऑफ दीज आर स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन मैकेनिज्म ऑल ऑफ यू आर टू रिमेंबर लाइक दैट so this was a zip file but i don't know it is not playing as of now so approximate straight line linkage mechanisms are these remember this and write these names in your copy also they are the straight line mechanisms straight line mechanisms what mechanism robert mechanism ye this is the robert mechanism so this will move on a straight line this will move on a straight line and you can go on uh, uh, you know internet or uh, if you uh, google out straight line mechanism zip files please see what is the meaning of straight line mechanism zip file unka dekhna aapko pata lagega straight line mechanism hai kya inka naam note kar lo <coughs> all these names please remember robert mechanism watt mechanism grasshopper mechanism evans mechanism this name also evans mechanism and chebyshev mechanism Chebyshev's mechanism. These names you please remember because exam me direct question aata hai. So you should know the names of these mechanisms. These all are straight line motion mechanism. These are some of the examples. I think these were all zip files. They are not playing right now, but they are all zip files. These are grasshopper mechanisms and Robert mechanism. Anyhow, let's go next. In elliptical tremor, how many pairs are sliding and how many pairs are turning? So, just give me your answer. In elliptical tremor, how many pairs are sliding and how many pairs are turning pairs? What is your answer for that? Just give me your answer. Elliptical tremor. Elliptical tremor is the okay. Two pairs are turning and two pairs are sliding. what is elliptical tremor is this what is elliptical tremor is this so if you see this pair link 1 and this link number 2 are sliding pair link number 4 and link number 1 is also sliding pair link 2 and 3 and link 3 and 4 are turning pair so this link and this slider are making the turning pair but the slider and the uh, slot is making the uh, sliding pair so sliding pair is between link 1 and link 4 isne link 1 isko bola link 4 isko bola so 
this one and this one are making sliding pair so there are two sliding and there are two turning pairs there are four pairs two sliding pairs and two turning pairs okay which of the following mechanism will generate the intermittent rotary motion from continuous rotary motion intermittent intermittent rotary motion from continuous rotary motion continuous motion transfer to intermittent rotary motion bahut important hai very very important i'll give you continuous motion continuous continuous rotary motion if i give you one link continuous rotary motion i get intermittent you know what is the intermittent non continuous rotary motion intermittent rotary motion which mechanism is that answer is geneva mechanism so geneva mechanism converts the continuous rotary motion into intermittent rotary motion how do we get that this is that particular thing again this is a zip file but not playing here i don't know what is the reason but this is the wheel which is continuously rotating and this one is a geneva wheel which will continue which will intermittently rotate it will not rotate continuously so ye wala jo aapka link hai wo continuously rotate karega this green will continuously rotate and ye red jo hai driven wheel driving wheel is continuously rotating driven wheel is not rotating continuously it is rotating and then stopping and then rotating and then stopping that is geneva mechanism i advise you to go and check this particular mechanism on the internet and you will find what kind of mechanism is this geneva mechanism is very important mechanism intermittent mechanism right so what is geneva mechanism is uh, one of the most commonly used device to get intermittent rotary motion i'm sure you people are noting down the things alternate period of motion and rest with no reversal in direction so direction will remain same this is used what is the application of this it is used for indexing rotation a shaft through a prescribed angle so what is the main purpose of geneva it is for indexing what is indexing is to rotate a shaft by particular angle so what is the main application of geneva mechanism is to index get the indexing so geneva mechanism the most important application is for the indexing we want to get indexing that is the main application of geneva mechanism right okay so this i think it is it, it's not playing here zip file but if you see the uh, this particular zip file getting played you will very easily understand what is the intermittent rotary motion means okay let's go for next now degree of freedom as per globular's criteria how to get degree of freedom as per globular criteria we are given now this uh, number of links and number of lower pairs number of higher pairs let's use this particular equation and one question can be asked where we have to find the degrees of freedom number of links in this formula this is for planar mechanism we are using and lower pair are given 6 higher pair are given 2 So if I put it in this equation, I'm going to get degree of freedom as one. Okay. Now uh, tell me what is the degrees of freedom for this? Just calculate and tell me what is the degree of freedom for this. First, you see how many number of links are there? How many number of links are there? lower pair higher pair what is the pairing what is the answer for this structure is something which is a zero degree of freedom indeterminate structure is something which is negative degree of freedom 
so tell me how many degrees of freedom you are getting for this how many number of links you are getting see this carefully and tell me how many number of links do you think are there in this kinematic chain how many number of links in this kinematic chain now see this carefully we have total number of links as 10 so what are the 10 number of links see this carefully this is link number one this is link number sliding pair link number two then this is link number three this is link number four link number five link number six link number seven link number eight link number nine link number ten and how many pairs do we have how many pairs do we have one pairing two pair three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and there is another pair which is between sliding and between the fixed pair so one fixed pair and sliding pair all are turning pair but one is sliding pair all are lower pair sliding pair and turning pair so whenever there are two links connected this is turning pair this is the turning pair whenever there is a slider kept on a fixed link that is called sliding pair so this is a sliding pair we have a sliding pair also and here we have a turning pair also so total number of pairings we have 13 number of pairings i hope you understood how we got 13 pair so this as you can see one this is two at this particular point and here also three so let me make it little more clear this particular part let us say there's a slider here so one is the sliding pair let's say this is link number two and then link number one is fixed link this link is a fixed link one link this is one this is two this is three so one and two two and three one and two is sliding pair two and three are turning pair one and two two and three are turning and sliding pair so the same fixed link which is here is extended this side also something like this so this is the diagram right this is the diagram you should understand what kind of diagram is this so if you put that in formula what you are going to get is this is the mechanism with one degree of freedom mechanism with one degree of freedom mechanism with one degree of freedom this question i think you people have solved this question this is this is the kind of question which you get in the gate exam also this is the kind of question which you get in the gate exam as well so quick return mechanism you know when you get at 90 degree let me give you the solution for this so when you put it at 90 degree so you get quick return ratio which is given to us as 2 what is quick return ratio is given you quick return ratio as 2 what is quick return ratio this is calculated in terms of angles let me make this angles so at 90 degree it changes its speed at 90 degree this side it will change the speed of its uh, it change the direction of its motion the moment this particular crank is rotating let's say this crank is rotating in this direction the moment crank reaches at 90 degree this link will change its direction of rotation or motion which is also clear from this particular diagram so quick return motion is nothing but ratio of these two angles theta 1 and theta 2 theta 1 corresponding to theta 1 you get forward stroke and corresponding to theta 2 you get a return stroke so time of forward stroke is corresponding to theta 1 and in this case theta 1 is given as beta and in this case theta 2 is given as alpha so beta by alpha quick return ratio is given as 2 now if you go to this right angle triangle if you go to this right angle triangle this is 90 degree this is alpha by 2 this small angle if total angle is alpha then 
half of that is alpha by 2. So cos of alpha by 2, if you calculate cos of alpha by 2, this is nothing but O1P over O1, O2. That is O1P over O1, O2. O1P is given as 125 and alpha we have got as 120 degree. So alpha by 2 is 60 degree. We want to find out this length O1, O2. So I am sure you people have done this question. How to find out quick return ratio? <clears throat> this is how we have to find out quick return ratio for this. So quick return ratio is calculated in terms of your angle. See the carefully diagram theta 1, theta 2. When this particular crank is rotating angle theta 1, you are getting the forward stroke, cutting stroke. And forward stroke or cutting stroke is slow. Backward stroke is fast because that is idle stroke. Backward stroke is idle and that is a slow stroke. Quick return has to be there. Right. This is very, very common formula. Number of degree of freedom using globular criteria. Yes, calculate and tell me what is the number of degrees of freedom. What is the number of degrees of freedom for this globular criteria as per this criteria? Put that in formula and tell me what is the value coming for this. Okay. So put these values and you get the degree of freedom as equal to 1. Yes. So planar mechanism, this formula is a very, very common formula. Many exams when this formula comes. Okay. Let's go next. Universal joint is example of which of the following? Universal joint is the example of lower pair, higher pair, rolling pair or sliding pair what do you think what do you think is the answer universal joint universal joint is example of lower pair area contact so what is lower pair what is higher pair whenever there is a area contact between the two links so whenever there is a area contact as you can see there is a area contact between the two links so cylinder inside a cylindrical pin inside a cylindrical hole this is nothing but area contact so this is giving you the lower pair this is also zip file but uh, not playing as of now so what is the purpose of universal joint why do we use universal joint is when you have to transmit the motion between two shafts which are at some angle if you want to transmit the motion between the two shafts which are at some angle, this is how you can use this universal joints. So please see the uh, this particular uh, GIF file of this or animated video, you will understand what is the meaning of this. In slotted lever and crank return mechanism, which is used in shaper, when do the beginning and end of cutting stroke occur? When do you get beginning and end of the cutting stroke choose the answer from this choose the answer from this when do you get the beginning and end of the cutting stroke in crank slotted and <coughs> quick return mechanism Whitworth quick return mechanism yes what is the answer you see this carefully Crank is perpendicular to the lever. Let me tell you one thing. The return of motion takes place. This is crank. O to A is the crank. And this O1 C is lever. Now, when this is rotating this side, let us say, at one point, this will be 90 degree. At one point, this will be 90 degree. And when it is 90 degree, it changes the direction. When it is at 90 degree, crank and lever are at 90 degree, the direction changes. 
and when the direction changes there is either beginning or end of the cutting stroke this is the beginning or end of the cutting stroke right so this is the answer for that how do you calculate number of instantaneous centers so how do you calculate the number of instantaneous centers in the mechanism how do you calculate the i center this is the formula you will use so number of i centers as per number of mechanisms number of links is n into n minus 1 by 2 formula we know n into n minus 1 by 2 so ab hamare paas kitne number of links hain kitne number of uh, links we have that is n that is 4 if i give you example of four bar mechanism in this diagram you can see the number of i center for four bar mechanism these are the four bar mechanism and this is i centers for this char i center already we know four i centers we are nothing but the the center of rotation only one two three four these are the four i center instantaneous centers now with respect to with respect to link number four what is the i center with respect to link number one what is the i center for link number four is i14 with respect to link number 1 which is a fixed link with respect to link number 1 which is a fixed link what is the i center for link number 2 which is this link is i12 so wahi point aapka i center banega do i center aise hain jaise 1 ka 3 ke sath sorry 3 ka 1 ke sath this one 3 ka 1 ke sath and 2 ka 4 ke sath so see this carefully This is the fixed link 1, let us say this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. This link, these 4 I centers are very clearly seen. Now I need to know the I center for 3 with respect to 1, I31 and I24. These two are to be obtained and Kennedy theorem is used to calculate these two. Kennedy theorem can be used to calculate these two. What is Kennedy theorem? If there are any three links, if there are any three links which are connected to each other, so their I centers will be on the straight line, common straight line, wo Kennedy theorem hai. and that Kennedy theorem is used to find out the other two I centers. You don't to do anything, you links to forward kar dena hai. Links ki length ko aage forward kar dena hai. that is all you have to do. So extend the length, ye aapke paas ek I center mil jayega and then extend this length also ek aapke paas ye i center mil jayega so this is how you get two i centers so you have got now six i centers they are the six instantaneous center agar main links if i keep on increasing the links this is the formula you will use so i centers instantaneous centers this is how it is to be done right this is how you will calculate the number of i centers Okay, which of the following is not the example of higher pair? Which of the following is not the example of higher pair? Tell me which of the following is not an example of higher pair? Okay, keep giving the answers. Okay, yeah, because bush bearing is a surface. Ball bearing, spur gear meshing, disc cam and follower, these all are higher pair. Now, what is higher pair and what is lower pair you know when surface or area contact is there between the two links it is called lower pair can you see now this is the cylinder bush inside the cylindrical cavity or cylindrical hole so this is a bush bearing this is the bush bearing ball bearing so ball bearing, cylindrical bearing, these all are higher pair. And you look, this is your profile, hai, it is a point contact. So spur gear, ke andar, spur gear meshing of the teeth is a point contact. You should visualize it. So spur gear meshing is a point contact. So higher pair, 
point contact and line contact. Lower pair is area contact. Tell me what is the contact between this cylindrical body and my hand? Area contact, right? This is the area contact. What about now? Now this is basically a line contact or point contact. So this is how lower pair, higher pair. One thing you should know, lower pair may degree of freedom is less. Lower pair may degree of freedom is less. Higher pair may you have more got more degree of freedom. Now in Grubler equation, you have lower pair also P1 and you have higher pair also P2. So you need to know that particular thing. Bush bearing is this. And you know, cam and follower. Cam and follower is also, as you can see carefully, this is also the point contact here. This is also point contact here. Let me classify the pairings. Let me classify the pairings. What kind of pairs do you have? Sir, we have lower pair, we have higher pair. Which pair is called a lower pair? The pair in which area or surface contact is there. Can you name all the sliding pair, all the turning pairs, all the screw pairs are lower pair. Which are the higher pair? Sir, higher pair are those in which there is a point contact. For example, you know this spur gear machine belt and rope remember this student make this wrong belt and rope is also higher pair belt and rope is example of higher pair ball bearing ro <coughs> roller bearing cam and follower frictional disc frictional disc belt and rope is the higher pair remember this always what is the other classification? You know, like sliding pair, piston and cylinder, tail stock on lathe bed. That is also sliding pair. Turning pair, you know, all the slider crank mechanisms, all the pairs in slider crank mechanism are turning pair. Four bar mechanism, turning pair. Roller pair is ball and roller bearing. Screw pair is lead screw which you use in lathe and nut and bolt bolt and nut ball and socket joint spherical pair where do you use ball and socket joint we use it in the rear mirror ha bilkul spherical pair jo hai wo lower pair hai abhi diagram aayega spherical body inside the sphere is a lower pair Area contact hai, sphere or spherical cavity also. Agar main ek ball ko sand mein rakhu, if I take a ball and put it in the sand, sand ke andar usko immerse kar dun. Visualize karo what kind of contact is there. Area contact or point contact. I take a ball and put it in the sand. Right, Shivani? So that is a lower pair. Ball and socket joint. So wo lower pair ho jayega. That is lower pair. So sometime we will ask you tail stock ke upar. So this is little important. Direct question sometime we will ask you from here. Right? Which of the following is not an inversion of slider crank mechanism? Tell me which one is not. Everybody can answer it. Everybody can answer this particular question. It's a simple question. Inversion say wo ek question tum se poo sakta hai. Old M coupling. Why is old M coupling used? What is the application of old M coupling? Sir, application of old M coupling is to transmit the power between two shafts, jinka which my distance nahi hai. Can you tell me how do you transfer the power between two shafts? How do you transmit the power between two shafts? When the distance between two shafts is very long, when the distance Suppose I want to transfer a power between this shaft and this shaft, right? I want to transfer the power between two shafts. I want to transmit the power between this shaft and this shaft. Shaft number one and shaft number two. Let's say I've got two shafts. I've got shaft number one and I've got shaft number two. 
the distance between two shafts is there but not much then you use the gear meshing when you want to transmit the power between two shafts the distance between these two is not much then you use the gear suppose i want to transmit the power between two shafts unke vich mein distance bahut zyada hai to main gear nahi laga sakta then how do you use then you use the belt belt drive is used to transmit the power between two shafts belt drive is used then gears are used then old dam coupling is used so old dam coupling is used to transmit the power between two shafts when the distance between these two shafts is very less or they are there is no difference they are interfering there is a overlapping so you use old dam coupling and then you use gear and then you use belt when do you use universal joint let me ask you when do you use universal joint what is the purpose of using universal joint so old dam coupling gear belt and universal joint remember this how much how many are the degree of freedom in spherical pair such as ball and socket how many degrees of freedom in spherical pair such such as ball and socket joint kitna degree of freedom hai ball and socket joint mein isko yaad rakhenge this is area contact ball and socket joint this is used in the rear mirror of the vehicles cars cars ka jo mirror hota hai piche dekhne wala if you break it you will find area contact very clearly shown here so degrees of freedom if you see uh there are different degrees of freedom this is prismatic one degree of freedom this is prismatic pairing this is screw pairing single degree of freedom spherical pairing three degrees of freedom why three degrees see this carefully it can rotate around around all the axis the ball can rotate about x axis y axis z axis so there is no translation but all three rotations no translation possible between link 1 and link 2 this link 1 link 2 link 2 which is this spherical link 2 can rotate with respect to link 1 around all the three axis so three degrees of freedom prismatic only one translation screw no doubt it is looking like rotating but only single degree of freedom screw contact cylinder inside cylinder cylinder inside cylindrical cavity two degrees of freedom it can rotate about one axis and it can translate it also and then you know this is the three degree of freedom prismatic bar kept on another plane surface it can translate it can translate about two axis and it can rotate about one axis so let us say i this is the let us say this is a kind of body right this one and i have kept in the plane surface it can translate in these two axis it cannot translate like this it cannot go in this direction it is basically constrained to translate in one direction it can rotate only about one axis so 3 degrees of freedom for this also 3 degrees of freedom for this also remember this in a slotted lever quick return mechanism how many instantaneous centers are there tell me how many instantaneous centers in this how many instantaneous centers are there how many instantaneous centers are there in a slotted lever quick return mechanism number of instantaneous center of rotation six because you know we know this because slotted quick return mechanism is nothing but it is the 
inversion of four slider crank mechanism and there are four links in that slider crank mechanism may there are four there are four links right so this is the reason okay now in slider crank mechanism piston velocity becomes maximum for the which of following configuration slider crank mechanism piston velocity becomes maximum for which of the following configuration when the crank is where when the crank is where okay so what is the answer for this maximum velocity is obtained this is the formula all of you know this formula you all know so the velocity of piston this is the piston velocity of piston with respect to this theta can be calculated like this when the theta becomes 90 degree you get maximum velocity that means crank which is this element crank is perpendicular to the line of stroke this is the line of stroke so when this theta becomes 90 degree which one is line of stroke this one is line of stroke when the crank comes here this becomes theta 90 degree theta becomes 90 degree at this particular point and hence perpendicular to line of slow slope so when crank becomes perpendicular to line of stroke then you get this So this is how it is done. <clears throat> Which of the following is a higher pair? Which of the following is a higher pair? What do you think? Which one of the following is the higher pair? Okay. So belt and pulley is only the example of higher pair. So remember, this is a very, very important information. Belt and pulley is higher pair all others are lower pair all others are lower pair you know belt when it is moving over pulley there is no relative motion between the surfaces of belt and pulley except at the extreme ends which comes as a point contact making it higher pair this is the reason otherwise many students say कि सर बेल्ट एंड पुली के बीच में तो एरिया कांटेक्ट है कांट यू सी एरिया कांटेक्ट हियर बिटवीन द बेल्ट एंड द पुली द स्लॉट ऑन द पुली एंड बेल्ट यू हैव एरिया कांटेक्ट देन हाउ कम बेल्ट एंड पुली बिकम्स हायर पेयर इट बिकम्स हायर पेयर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन व्हेन एवर देयर इज अ यू नो रिलेटिव मोशन बिटवीन टू लिंक्स दैट रिलेटिव मोशन इज अ पॉइंट कांटेक्ट एट अ पॉइंट सो एट द रिलेटिव मोशन पोजीशन you get a point contact and that is the reason you are getting the you are getting it as a higher pair and that is the reason you are getting it as a higher pair <clears throat> so this is important information all these are lower pair you can very clearly see so screw pair this one is a screw pair area contact all other this as you can clearly see they are the lower pairs area contact screw pair is also called helical pair so screw pair is also called helical pair and there is a single degree of freedom don't think it is rotating also sir it is translating also because both the motions are related and hence you get the single degree of freedom in this particular case so you get single degree of freedom in this particular case okay so let me come back to this numerical first we go for this okay tell me now what is the degree of freedom for this 
and how many ternary links you have how many ternary links and what is the degree of freedom tell me and calculate it calculate the now number of ternary links and degree of freedom we already know the formula now already we know the formula for calculating we already know the formula tell me now what is the degree of freedom for this particular mechanism what is the degree of freedom for this mechanism now what will be degree of freedom for this mechanism make this diagram how many links do you see how many links do you see in this and how many ternary links are there first you tell me how many ternary links can you see in this how many ternary links do you see here how many ternary links can you see here one is this another is this can you find this also ternary link is the link which is connected to three more links see this carefully what is ternary link connected to three links now this link is connected to 1 2 3 done this link is also connected to 1 2 3 done what about this link this link this link is also connected to 1 2 3 done this link is also connected to 1 2 3 done this link is also connected to 1 2 3 done this link is also connected to 1 2 3 done what about this link this link is also connected to 1 2 3 so we have got three ternary links see this carefully yeah we have got three ternary links and how many degrees of freedom how many degrees of freedom degrees of freedom are also three so we have got three ternary links what are the total number of links this is link number 1 1 1 1 link number 1 then link number 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have got 10 links we have got 10 links and how many joints we have got if you count you will find 12 joints there is no higher pair all are lower pairs there is no higher pair so if you put that in formula then degree of freedom will be like this 3 into number of links minus 1 n minus 1 minus 2 times number of higher pairs which are 12 all turning pairs number of lower pairs sorry and higher pair is 0 so this formula is grubler's equation for planar mechanism this is a planar mechanism two dimensional mechanism so degree of freedom is also 3 okay now this uh, question also is incomplete question so let me go for this now yeah in four bar linkage in four bar linkage lengths shortest and longest and other two lengths are given like this in the four bar linkages we are given the lengths of these mechanisms so we are given the shortest longest and other two links so let us say this is the shortest longest and then we are given p and q let us say now grash of linkage is provided for which of the following in which of the following you get grash of linkage for which of the following do you get grash of linkage tell me how do you get the grash of linkage which one will you hit answer which of the answer will you hit for this yes what is the answer for this yes 
so you get it at answer is b for this when s plus l actually it is less than equal to p plus q you get grash of linkage at least one will be making full revolution at least one will be giving you full revolution rotary one is rotating link right this is called class 1 kinematic chain if s plus l is more than p plus q it is called non grash of link so none of the link will be making complete rotation class 2 kinematic chain remember these couple of things yes if if you get this particular case let us say l plus s is greater than p plus q suppose this is happening l plus s greater than p plus q what you get is double rocker what you get is double rocker and none of the link is making complete revolution none of the link will make a complete revolution yes double rocker will be obtained if l plus s is greater than p plus q so remember this what do you mean by grash of linkage anyhow this uh, we have done single slider crank mechanism i think is very simple whitworth quick return mechanism we have already done that so there is a whitworth quick return mechanism so there is a slotted bar there is a connecting rod and then there is a bull gear connecting rod and this is how it goes this we have already done okay give me the answer for this we have already done this also give me the answer for this i am sure you can give number of links number of joints we have just now found this formula just now we found this formula we just found this formula i told you degree of freedom or mobility 3 times number of links minus 1 minus 2 times joint but for mechanism it is 1 3 into l minus 1 minus 2j so number of links 3l is equal to 2j plus 4 so l is equal to 2 by 3j plus 2 2 by 3j plus 2 right so yeah we have already written this as globular's equation for degree of freedom circular shaft is rotating inside the bearing and it is example of what circular shaft revolving inside bearing is the example of what circular shaft is revolving inside the bearing is example of which of the following pairs is example of which of the following pairs yes circular shaft inside the bearing it is example of turning pair it is example of tur turning pair circular shaft revolving inside the bearing is example of turning pair you can understand this okay let's go for next question motion of the piston in cylinder of a steam engine is the example of which of the following what is the answer for this which pairing is this 
this is what kind of pairing this is successfully constrained motion i discussed with you just now why it is successfully constrained motion in which of the following the quick return mechanism is not required in which of the following quick return mechanism is not required planar slaughter shaper planar slaughter shaper quick return mechanism is required planar slaughter and shaper it is required try to understand what is broaching see what is broaching broaching is a process to remove a small very thin layer of material in one stroke where the cutter is bar type cutter or rod type cutter with a series of cutting edges and increasing protrusion as shown in the diagram this is called broaching tool so broaching is known as this but what is important is planer slaughter and shaper use the quick return mechanism that is something which is important for us they use the quick return mechanism yes broaching is finishing or we can say semi finishing if not finishing it is semi finishing operation finishing or semi finishing operation okay now hard mechanism and pauciliar mechanism how many links are there in this isko yaad rakhna hai how many links are there in this hard mein 6 pauciliar mein 8 isme 4 isme 4 you have to remember this how many mechanisms are there hard mein 6 हार्ट में सिक्स होता है स्ट्रेट लाइन मैकेनिज्म है ये दिस इज हार्ट सिक्स वो पॉसिलियर है ये दिस इज पॉसिलियर यू कैन सी द एट मैकेनिक लिंक्स आर देयर सो हाउ मेनी लिंक्स आर देयर इन विटवर्थ क्विक रिटर्न मैकेनिज्म एंड इन स्कॉच योग यू हैव गॉट फोर लिंक्स व्हाट अबाउट पॉसिलियर मैकेनिज्म एट व्हाट अबाउट हार्ट मैकेनिज्म this is a straight line motion hard mechanism may you get straight line motion you get straight line motion in this okay which one of the following is not which one of the following is not the higher pair which one of the following is not the higher pair tell me which one is not the higher pair cylinder rolling on surface is higher pair ball bearing higher pair wheel rolling higher pair sphere rolling higher pair turning or screw pair is a lower pair screw pair is a lower pair screw is a lower pair ball and socket joint is example of which of the following pairs ball and socket joint is example of which of the following pair yes what is answer for that this is the spherical pair and how many degrees of freedom there are 3 degrees of freedom revolute single degree of freedom prismatic single degree of freedom screw single degree of freedom 
सो रिमेंबर द थ्री नेम्स वेर यू गेट सिंगल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम रिवोल्यूट प्रिजमेटिक स्क्रू सर वट इज द रिवोल्यूट रिवॉल्विंग पेयर रोटेटिंग पेयर ये सारे के सारे यू नो दिज ऑल पेयर आर रिवोल्यूट पेयर रिवॉल्विंग पेयर सिंगल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम लिंक रोटेटिंग विद रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस This is also revolute pair. Cylindrical pair two degrees of freedom. Spherical three degrees of freedom. Planar is, you know, three degrees of freedom. Automobile steering gear. Automobile steering gear. Is an example of which pairing? automobile steering gear is example of which of the following pairs automobile steering gear is example of which pair see on uh, the panel which you have taken uh, this hpcl module hpcl module mein jitne question hai plus these additional questions i think will be sufficient for hcl exam hpcl you are already doing the hpcl module hpcl ke liye humne hum logo ne bahut se questions banaye the So there are so many questions for HPCL. Do that also, and along with this, that will be sufficient. Automobile steering gear is example of lower pair. Automobile steering gear mechanism. Right. So this is example of lower pair. what is the meaning of negative degree of freedom in the mechanism what do you mean by negative degree of freedom in the mechanism what do you mean by this negative degree of freedom in the mechanism so tell me what do you understand by negative degree of freedom in the mechanism see this carefully now if i give you four bar mechanism if i give you four bar mechanism degree of freedom is one degree of freedom is one and that is called a mechanism that is called mechanism what is the meaning of degree of freedom one that means if i rotate link number 2 i will get defined motion of link 3 and link 4 i will be knowing what motion link 4 is going to display that is called single degree of freedom now suppose i attach one more link number 5 attach one more link number 5 that will give me degree of freedom zero degree of freedom zero is called structure that is called structure but it is statically determinate structure it is statically determinate structure if i give you if i attach one more link here if i attach one more link i will get degree of freedom negative i will get degree of freedom negative it is called superstructure as you said so as i think mishra said superstructure degree of freedom negative that means now it will be very difficult for me to move it i can move this i cannot move this i need to apply even extra force to move it but i can analyze it statically i cannot even analyze it statically that is the meaning of this so this is the meaning of negative degree of freedom of a mechanism scotch yoke mechanism is used to generate what scotch yoke mechanism is used to generate what what is this used to generate yes so it is used to generate the sign function it is used to generate the sign function actually scotch yoke motion is like sine and cosine sine and cosine motion is obtained sine and cosine motion what kind of motion is sine and cosine 
This is sine graph or cosine graph or both? This is both sine and cosine. It can be sine graph, it can be cosine graph. Right? So it is used to generate the sine and cosine graph. Yes. Simple harmonic motion. What is simple harmonic motion? Acceleration is proportional to minus x. Acceleration is proportional to minus of displacement. Simple harmonic motion. So it displays the simple harmonic motion. Scotch yoke mechanism. Now you can do this. This is the third question on the same formula. I am sure you can do it. Find out what is the degree of freedom. Now all of you can find the degree of freedom. Tell me what is the degree of freedom for this. How many degrees of freedom do you get in this particular case? How many degrees of freedom are you getting here? Yes, calculate it fast. Three degrees of freedom. So you know the formula, right? You know this is the formula. We have done this formula now. So planar mechanism which is having 10 links and 12 rotary joints. So using globular criteria, degrees of freedom can be obtained like this. Using globular criteria, this is the <clears throat> using globular criteria, this is what you can do. Right? Okay. Typewriter is what? What is typewriter? Is it a machine? Is it a structure? Is it an inversion? It is an engine? It is a mechanism? What is typewriter? Abologa machine hoti hai. Typewriter hota gaya batao. What is typewriter? What is typewriter? And what is laptop? मॉडर्न टाइपराइटर क्या होते हैं लैपटॉप में जो होते हैं लैपटॉप में भी तो आप कंप्यूटर में भी तो आप टाइप कर सकते हैं ना यू कैन टाइप इन द कंप्यूटर आल्सो लैपटॉप एंड कंप्यूटर में नाउ व्हाट इज यू टाइप व्हाट इज टाइपराइटर एंड व्हाट इज लैपटॉप और कंप्यूटर टाइपराइटर इज अ मैकेनिज्म बट दीस आर मशीन्स सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मशीन एंड मैकेनिज्म what is the difference between machine and mechanism? When motion is transferred, when one kind of motion is transferred to other kind of motion, it is called mechanism. One link transfer motion to another link, that is called mechanism. But when energy is transferred, it is called machine. Electric energy converted into rotation, fan. So when energy is transferred, it is called machine. When motion is transferred, it is called mechanism. Yes, machines are, all machines are mechanisms, if you can say that, yeah. But not every mechanism is a machine. Typewriter is not a machine. Typewriter is the mechanism. So very old typewriters used to be like this. Very old typewriters used to be like this. So it was a, you know, good finding people did to write very nicely. To replace the handwriting with the some kind of automatic writing. Iska nikalo, degree of freedom. What is the degree of freedom for this? First tell me how many links are there. You will tell me. You will find couple of things here. How many links? How many links? And then you will tell how many lower pair? Lower pair? higher pair 
एंड रिडंडेंट पेयर रिडंडेंट पेयर ये इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी लोअर पेयर हायर पेयर एंड रिडंडेंट पेयर दिस इज वन दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री दिस इज फोर सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द pairings which you have some of the pairings which you have see this carefully now pehle to this answer you understand we will not use globular's equation here we will use modified globular equation see this carefully and i'll give you some more examples also link number 1 link number 2 लिंक नंबर थ्री लिंक नंबर फोर विच इज दिस वन एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो फोर फोर लिंक सी दिस केयरफुली डायग्राम बना लो कॉपी पे मेक अ डायग्राम इन योर कॉपी फोर लिंक देर आर फोर लिंक कैन यू सी दिस डायग्राम हाउ मेनी लोअर पेयर सो you know between 1 and 4 this is a lower pair between 3 and 4 it is a lower pair 3 and 4 it is also lower pair and 2 and 3 2 and 3 is also lower pair one lower pair two lower pair three lower pair three lower pairs p1 3 higher pair this is 3 and this is 2 between 2 and 3 between 2 and 3 now this one is one i think this is one one and two is a higher pair one higher pair this one over this one this is one this is two this one is three this is two right so one and two is higher pair this is higher pair so how many lower pairs you have joy you are saying mechanism which can be utilized to do real life work is machine no i beg to differ machine is that mechanism in which energy transfer takes place not motion but energy energy is the word and that machine in which output energy is work is called engine that machine in which output energy is work is called engine so mechanism mein motion transfer machine mein energy transfer engine mein work output that's it right so lower pair is this now there is a redundant motion also what is the redundant motion now and you see this is the advanced globular equation so degree of freedom is 3 into link minus 1 minus 2 p1 minus p2 minus redundant pair redundant pair now what is the redundant motion if you see link number 2 and link number 3 you see this this is link number 3 this is link number 2 suppose link is rotating now now suppose a link number 2 is rotating with respect to link number 3 then it is not making any kind of change in motion of other links so if one link rotates in the mechanism what does not affect the motion of any other link it is called redundant link it is called redundant motion listen carefully again redundant motion means the motion which is not leading to the motion of other links redundant i'll give you some more examples don't worry i'll give you some more examples 
दैट मोशन इज कॉल्ड रेडेंडेंट मोशन इन विच हाँ बाई मेनुपुलेटिंग द लिंक देर इज नो चेंज इन मोशन ऑफ अदर लिंक एज मिशर इज सेंग सो रेडेंडेंट पेयर और रेडेंडेंट मोशन इज दैट मोशन विच इज टेकिंग प्लेस बट इट इज नॉट अफेक्टिंग द मोशन ऑफ अदर लिंक दैट मोशन इज कॉल्ड रिडेंडेंट मीन यूजलेस एक्सेस एडिशनल रिडेंडेंट दैट मीन इट इज नॉट बींग यूज द मोशन ऑफ वन लिंक इज नॉट अफेक्टिंग द मोशन ऑफ अदर लिंक देन दैट मोशन इज कॉल्ड रिडेंडेंट which in this case is that of link number 2 even if link number 2 will rotate it will not affect the motion of other links that is the meaning of it and hence if you use it in formula you get degree of freedom 1 maybe i can give you better example of this now see this carefully see this diagram carefully now this link number 3 this link number 3 gives a redundant motion i can move it like this i can move it like this and it will not affect the motion of any other links i can move it like this and it will not affect the motion of any other suppose i start translating link number 3 do you think it is going to affect the motion of link 2 and 4 no so that is a redundant pair i cannot use this formula now globular i need to use the special globular formula how many links are there how many number of pairs are there i have number of links now so i cannot use this formula i need to use this formula please update this formula in your copy number of redundant links so in this case there is one pair which is redundant pair how many lower order pairs are there there are four lower order pairs 1 2 3 4 how many higher order pair zero how many redundant pair one and accordingly i get degree of freedom in this case as zero i get zero degree of freedom go for this go for this now same question which i have done same question which i have done there are four links here how many how many pairings we have here no but i think there is one higher order pair also here not only do you think p2 will be zero do you think higher order pair will be zero i think this is a three lower order pair so i don't think there is a zero lower pair find out what is the formula coming so let's take lower order pair 3 let's take this one and this one what is the formula coming 3 into 4 minus 1 4 links minus 2 into 3 minus 2 minus 1 how much we are getting 9 minus 6 minus 3 so no that is not coming 6 Minus two into one, sorry, one into one, not two into one. This is one, so this is two, uh, eight. Yes. So please update this in your copy. This is the same example which we did. This is the same question which we did. Exactly same question which we did just now. Isko karo. Do this question now. Go for this question now. go for this question now how many number of links 1 2 i am not talking about this i am talking about this 1 2 3 4 5 
looks like there are five links here looks like there are five links here if we put five links here all lower links and if we use that in formula then we get degree of freedom zero then we get degree of freedom zero but you know what link number three is a redundant link what is the meaning of redundant link that means even if i remove it the motion is going to remain the same so this is the additional link i put and even if i give you a diagram now even if i give you another diagram like this suppose i give you one more link here then also it is going to remain the same that means this link are redundant link i am to remove this and then see the diagram remove it and then see the diagram and this simply becomes four bar mechanism this simply becomes four bar mechanism yes so there is a one redundant link similar to that if there is a more links also they will also be redundant so you are not to consider that so you are to use the formula in the formula you have to use only those links which are not redundant yes so as mishra is saying it has no effect on the motion it is only used for stabilizing the mechanism so degree of freedom is one so these are some of the typical examples you know these are some of the typical examples just see whether you get the degree of freedom to here note this also in your copy so total number of links here are 14 lower pairs are 18 higher pair is 1 which one is the higher pair now which one is the higher pair this one it is like this it is not a sliding pair this is a rolling pair this is the rolling pair so there is a p21 don't assume it to be sliding pair don't make the mistake by assuming it to be sliding pair note it down in your copy this one is the higher pair it is not a lower pair it is a higher pair so how many links are there one link two three and this four is sliding five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen links are there how many are lower pair higher pair is this other are lower only one two three four five six and all eighteen lower pairs one higher pair and accordingly you get two degrees of freedom in that case you get two degrees of freedom in which of the following mechanisms coriolis acceleration exist tell me in which the coriolis acceleration exist in which of the following coriolis acceleration exist Do you know what is Coriolis acceleration? Are you aware? What is the answer for this? First, you note down the answer is both A and B. Both A and B. Let me tell you what is Coriolis acceleration. Suppose I give you a link, let us say A, and another link on this, let us say link B. So. and this is a fixed link let us say one a is rotating with respect to link number one a is rotating with respect to link number one at omega radian per second link a is rotating at omega radian per second with respect to fixed link 
B is a sliding with respect to A at B meter per second. Let us say the velocity of B is V meter per second with respect to link A. So B is a sliding on link A. A is rotating with respect to fixed link 1. So there will be acceleration to omega v. There will be acceleration which is called Coriolis acceleration on link B. There will be acceleration 2 times omega cross V. And the direction will be like this. So now if you change direction of omega, this direction of 2 omega V acceleration will also change this side. If you change direction of V inward, again direction of acceleration will change. But if you change direction of velocity also and direction of rotation also, both, then this will remain same. For example, suppose V ka direction aisa hai or omega ka aisa hai. In then also acceleration is going to remain like this. You need to mem memorize that. So Coriolis acceleration is acting on that particular body which is a sliding with respect to rotating frame of reference. Listen carefully. Coriolis acceleration acts on a body. Coriolis acceleration acts on a body which is a sliding on a body which further is rotating. Rivers on earth. Earth is a rotating frame of reference and rivers are sliding with respect to earth. I mean rivers, they are moving. River is moving with respect to earth. Why river? Even we are moving with respect to earth. So car moving on highway. Now car is sliding, earth is rotating. Though very less Coriolis acceleration acts, but still it acts. So that is how you need to understand that. So now remember that these two mechanisms, Whitworth quick return mechanism and tangent cam mechanisms, they have no hand operated swing machine is the machine why because you are using the energy not when I am typing when I am typing that motion of finger is not energy transmission but hand rotated foot rotated swing machine energy transmission is happening I am giving some kind of energy and then rotary it is transmitted to something else. Wo to, wo to machine hai, energy transfer. Right? This is how it is done. Now trust we will do in the next class. So let me tell you, I uh, will be taking this uh, theory of machine multiple classes. You never know what question comes. So in every class you will get some important tips, some important concepts. Please keep noting that and keep preparing with your PDF for HAL exam. Yeah, your your uh, this uh, HPCL material which we have HPCL में बहुत question आया था HAL के लिए HPCL plus whatever we are covering all the teachers we will uh, have question from there so all the very best be happy and be motivated whenever you are preparing for any exam be motivated and this year is gonna be a great year for all of you we are going to blast it right catch you again for the next class thank you.